Hi everyone, this is Samantha from The Dancing Soap Dish and it's Mosaic Soap Challenge time again. Yes, that's right. If you haven't heard, we've challenged ourselves here at The Dancing Soap Dish to come up with a new and unique mosaic soap design every month for the whole year of 2023. This was last month's design. This was the basic mosaic soap tutorial that I did. Um, and now that it's February, we're going to come up with uh, something new and different. Again, it's mosaic soap, but it's a slightly different method. I've been inspired by glass mosaic tiles. So this is a collection of beautiful glass mosaic tile designs that I found on Pinterest. And this is what I've come up with. So these are my glass tile effect melt and pour soap bars. Aren't they fantastic? So this is a different mosaic method. This is a full coverage method where I've covered the entire bar of soap with the mosaic tiles. There's no grout, it's just mosaic tiles. And uh, I've used uh, a combination of opaque and transparent tiles and I've got some pearlescent ones in there. I've got some glitter ones in there. And if you've got an eagle eye, you might've even spotted some gold leaf amongst it as well. And basically I've put them together in a random pattern just like you find um, glass tiles that people use in their bathrooms. So if you've got a pretty glass tile in your bathroom, you can absolutely make a soap to match. That would be awesome. Uh, but here they are here and I'm gonna show you how to make them. And as per usual, all the details you need are on the Dancing Soap Dish website and there's also some info in the description of this video. Okay, let's go. So first up, I just wanna talk about the soap base that I'm going to use to make these glass tile effect soaps. This is a clear, melt and pour soap base, but more specifically, it is a low sweat melt and pour soap base. So it'll reduce uh, glycerin dew on the soap surface. If you wanna leave them out on display in your humid bathroom, that's fine. Uh, so I'm cutting up some cubes here. Um, I'm also, again, I'm using these great cups Barista measuring cups, they are so handy for soap and specifically for mosaic soap because they make it really easy to fill up the mosaic tile soap mold. And here they are. These are the mosaic tile molds that I'm going to use. These are resin molds, but you can fill them with soap. That's not an issue. I splashed out on three because I'm making a lot of mosaic soap this year, but you can get by with one because uh, it doesn't take very long for the soap tiles to set at all. Uh, so what I love about this project as well is you can use leftover soap bits. This is a little bit of soap I have left over from my Winter Silhouettes soaps that I did. Uh, check them out. They are awesome too. Uh, so I'm just going to weigh out, I only need about 25 grams to fill up one section or one type of shape of the, um, the soap tiles. So I've got 25 grams of the white here and I've got 50 grams of the clear because I'm actually going to use that to fill up too. Okay, so I'm just putting these on um, some greaseproof paper. I'm just gonna fill up the hexagons. Just for simplicity, I'm only using hexagons for this project. Uh, but hey, look, with all these different uh, shapes, the design possibilities are endless. So I've melted my white soap base here. I've used a really small container. If you're melting small amounts of soap, use a small container. I've got my isopropyl alcohol on hand and I'm spraying it as I pour the soap just into the hexagon tile section of my mosaic tile mold. There we go. So that's filled that up quite easily. I'm also gonna have a scraper on hand. You'll see in a second, a rubber scraper will come on in really, really handy. So I'm also making some transparent tiles. These just look like transparent glass, which is exactly what I need for my glass tile effect. I'm using the scraper just to make sure that um, I'm, all the cavities are being filled evenly. There we go. And spraying the alcohol as well, which helps it, gets rid of any bubbles and helps it move through all the cavities as well. Okay, so I've got a little bit of clear left and I'm just going to mix in a tiny bit of blue soap coloring, just the end of my skewer here, and just tint this clear to blue. So it's gonna look like just a, a clear glass, because sometimes glass does have a blue sort of tint to it. So I'm doing some blue tinted glass tiles as well. Uh, very, very easy to get these tiles out of the mold once they've set, which only takes 20 minutes to half an hour. Just turn it over and pull out all of the little tiles. Yes, it takes a while, but that's fine. It's quite fun, it's therapeutic. 
And here I have a whole bunch of little white hexagonal tiles. Uh, sometimes you can get your tiles out in a sort of like a big bunch like that. You will just need to um, either pull those apart with your fingers or cut them up with a knife. Uh, but it doesn't really matter. There might be a little bit of um, excess soap around the edges. You can pull that off with your fingernail or chop that off with a knife too. There's no, no issues with that. And there we go. We have our first sort of soap tiles. Okay, so now I've cleaned up my molds and I'm gonna fill them up again. Uh, so I'm going to make another base color here. So I'm using these neutral colors as my base colors. And so I'm making a lot of those. I'm filling up the entire section with those. This is a pearlescent white. Uh, after this, I'm going to do some highlight colors, uh, which I'm only gonna fill up half the mold with. So I've got some pretty gold here. Um, because these are the highlight colors, I don't need quite as many tiles. So that's why I'm only going to do half the mold. I'm just making sure I leave some of those mm, hexagonal cavities spare for the next color. Uh, I've reused the leftover blue. I peeled it off my baking paper from the blue tiles that I made. I've mixed it with some more clear. Uh, I've added some pearlescent mica. And I'm also just going to add some more liquid soap coloring to make this a darker blue. And again, this is a highlight tile, so I'm just filling up half of the hexagonal section there. I've also got some glitter. I'm going to make some glitter tiles. So I'm going to add uh, some pearlescent mica again. This one I'm going for sort of a dark grey silvery colour. And just uh, spray it with alcohol if you can't get the mica to mix in. If the mica is floating on top of your soap, spray it with alcohol. It will help it mix in. Um, so I'm going to add some glitter to this one too. Uh, maybe a little bit darker. Yep. Okay. And see here, I'm just pouring it next to the blue. And I'm just going to get my scraper and just scrape it away from the blue because I don't want it sort of mixing into the blue. The blue has already set, by the way. That is how quickly it, it works. But I'm just uh, scraping that silver away so it doesn't ruin my blue tiles. Okay, and my last color, again, I've gone pearlescent and I'm going to do a beautiful pink with maybe just a touch of gold and some more glitter. Very easy to mix that up in. I'm just mixing these up in little sort of shot glass size paper cups. Really easy to work with. And I'm gonna pop these next to the gold. And again, just scrape the excess away so that it doesn't mix into the gold. And beautiful, I'll allow those to set and pop them out. So here are all of my mosaic tiles ready to go. I've got full hexagon shaped ones, uh, which I have separated from my edge pieces here. I've got part ones here. I'll need to um, pull them out later. So I've just separated them so they're easy to find. I've got beautiful glittery pink ones and these grey ones have a bit of glitter in them too. Very pretty. Going to cover up a treat. Uh, I've also got some pearlescent ones, semi-opaque there and then transparent ones as well. So I've got a really good mix of all different types of glass looking tiles. This is the mould I'm going to use. Um, one sort of square of hexagons will fit perfectly inside one of these cavities. I'm also using a breadboard and a knife just for trimming. I've got some tweezers and I've also got uh, a skewer, which will come in handy. I also recommend that you have your mosaic tile mold on hand, uh, just so you can see uh, how the pattern all works together, especially the edge pieces. Also, if you're having trouble visualizing what your glass tile effect soaps are going to look like, you can actually start assembling them inside the mold. So if you have a look here, see, I can just take uh, random tiles and they fit back into the hexagonal cavities of the mold. Just like this. See, there we go. They fit nice and snug. And what this allows you to do is it allows you to assemble the design inside the mold so you can see what it will look like. Uh, so I'm just going to randomly put uh, white, dark blue and the clear blue tiles back into this 
hexagon section of the mold and this will show me what the surface of my soap will look like when it's finished. So if I'm unhappy with any part of it, I can just pop tiles out and replace them in the position where I want them to go. And when I'm 100% happy with what my design looks like, I can very carefully uh, take it out of the mold and assemble it inside the soap mold cavity. If you're feeling a little bit more adventurous or like me, you just like to wing it, you can absolutely just do it straight inside the cavity of the mold first up. Uh, the good side of the tile has to be facing down because that is gonna be the top of the soap. The bottom of the soap mold cavity will be the top of the soap. So um, the easiest thing to do is just work around the edges first, put all your edge pieces in and then fill it in with the rest of the hexagons. So I'm only using three or four colors uh, in each of my designs. Uh, the first one is just white and blue. This second one that I'm assembling at the moment, I've got the pearlescent white ones, the gray glitter ones, and also the uh, transparent blue tiles as well. Uh, this one here, I'm working with the pink and the gold as my highlights amongst the pearlescent white. And I'm also placing a couple of transparent tiles in here too, which will end up being my gold leaf ones, but I'm just sort of placing them in transparent at the moment just to see how the design looks. Uh, and finally, I'm going to do an opaque white and uh, a gold and a pearlescent white combination. Again, I'm gonna scatter through a few transparent tiles as well. And here they are, all finished. Now, my next step is I'm gonna grab some edible gold leaf. Now, I found this in the baking aisle at my supermarket. It's upside down, there we go. Um, so it's edible gold leaf, and I'm going to use it to gild some of my transparent tiles. So I'm just placing them, I'm using the tweezers because you can't touch the gold leaf with your fingers. It'll stick to it and make one hell of a mess. Uh, so I'm placing the tiles onto the gold leaf. Uh, with the good side facing up. So basically the gold leaf is going on the back of the tiles. And the reason for that is um, uh, just for longevity. Like I want the beautiful gold to um, last throughout the soap bar. If I put it on top of the tile, it's just gonna wash off first time I use the soap bar and I don't want that. So I'm actually putting it on the bottom of the tile. So it'll um, last a lot longer in the soap. And the soap comes really beautiful and clear when it gets wet. So you'll be able to see the gold, no worries, even though it's on the back of the tile. So I'm just assembling, I'm pulling back out basically the, the clear soap tiles that I put in my designs and I am placing them on the gold leaf. There we go. And now that I've done that, I will just very carefully pick them back up with the tweezers. I'm gonna use a paintbrush just to brush off the excess around the edges and also to pat down the gold leaf into uh, the soap. And then I can place it, you know, with the gold facing up uh, back into my design. There we go. Just gonna very carefully pop that in there. Awesome. That is so beautiful and shiny, I love that. So I finished those now, and as you can see, two of my soap bars are gonna have beautiful gold gilded mosaic tiles in them. They're just gorgeous. The uh, one on the right here, I didn't pat down the gold as much, so we'll see if that makes a difference. And I've also just, uh, in the top corner here, I've put together the um, tiles that I had left over, just for an extra bar of soap. Uh, it hasn't got a lot of highlight tiles in it because there weren't a lot left, uh, but I just like that design. I thought I'll just make an extra one there. Okay, so the next step is to seal these tiles in place. And how I'm going to do that is I'm just going to pour a very thin layer of soap over the surface of the tiles. I'm not going to pour the entire soap bar over the tiles. And the reason for that is, is that the weight of the soap, um, you know, forces the soap into the gaps between the tiles 
and it also the tiles may start to float as well the heat is also a factor um, you know a large amount of hot soap poured on top of it will cause the uh, tiles to start melting and even the colors might bleed uh, whereas if I just do a very thin layer uh, it'll set faster it, there won't be that long exposure to the heat so by pouring a thin layer of soap and letting that set I've sealed the tiles and when I do pour the rest of the bar they are protected from the weight and the heat of the rest of the soap bar so I am going to get started with that now uh, I have melted 10 to 15 grams per bar of soap because that's how much I'll need to do a thin layer uh, this soap needs to be very hot okay if your soap is not hot enough then the tiles won't stick to it and when you go to use your bar of soap the tiles will pop off which is not what you want so this needs to be very hot soap that will sort of melt into the surface of the tiles uh, I've got my isopropyl alcohol on hand here but um, I've actually made a mistake there I do not want to spray the tiles with alcohol before I pour the soap. Afterwards is fine, but before, no. And the reason for that is, is that it breaks the surface tension and it'll actually uh, cause the soap to seep into the gaps in between the tiles easier. And I don't, I really just want it to sort of sit on top of them and adhere it. So this second bar that I've poured here, I didn't spray it. You can spray it afterwards to get rid of the bubbles, that's fine. I didn't spray that one and I'll show you at the end the difference that that makes, because it will make a difference. I'm just using uh, just a little egg flip here, just to um, pour the soap onto first so I don't melt any of the tiles uh, in a certain spot just because the soap is very hot uh, so I'm just being very careful here like I said spraying a very thin layer don't spray with alcohol I can't believe I did that I really wasn't thinking I'm just so used to doing it I did it without even thinking because uh, it is a handy thing to do in between layers it's, it's what you do normally do but in this case we specifically do not want to do it but I just did it without thinking okay so there we have our very thin layers right there. Um, I'm going to give them a little bit of time to set. They won't need long. And then I can come and pour the rest of the bars. Okay, so this soap has set. Let's have a look at it. Uh, you can see some of the gold leaf did come away and is floating. Uh, but I don't see any other color bleeding, so that's good. Uh, I'm popping it on top of a set of scales because I'm going to weigh out 40 grams uh, of soap into each bar because I want even weight bars. So I have some scented uh, and melted soap here. Uh, I've filled each one up with 40 grams. I'm just giving it a spray to get rid of the bubbles. I did spray it with alcohol first. That's fine to do it this time. I recommend it. And uh, that's pretty much it for the bars now. Uh, you just need to maybe leave those for the rest of the day or overnight to set and uh, then we'll come back and demold. So here they are, they're ready. So exciting. Let's have a look at these. I really hope they turn out well. Quite easy to pop out of the mold. Just turn the mold inside out and pop them out. Here's the blue one. Look at that, beautiful and shiny and lovely. I have a glass tile effect soap there. Uh, this is one with some of the gold, I think the gold and the pink this one is. Yes, ah, see, look at that. I sprayed alcohol on this one and see some of the soap has leaked through to the bottom. That's okay, I'll show you how to fix that because it's totally fixable, but the idea is, is that you don't have it happen in the first place. Uh, here is my other one with the gold. Yep, this one, I didn't pat the gold leaf down and some of it has floated away uh, when I sealed the bar. So there's something to keep in mind too. Uh, this one here, so this is the one that I didn't spray with alcohol and let's have a look. Okay, yes, see here, this is a perfect example of how you want your bar to turn out. All the tiles are stuck together, but there's no evidence that any of the white soap has leaked through through the gaps between the tiles. And this last one here, this was just the sort of the leftovers that I did. I really like that one. It's pretty. Uh, it's mostly just white and clear with uh, a few of the glitter tiles in it. So that's cute too. I'm really happy with that one. 
Okay, like I said, I'll show you how to fix up these ones that have had some of the soap leak through. I think these two bars are the worst bars that that has happened to. You can get uh, your skewer and uh, scrape off the soap. If there's large sections like I do have here, uh, your rubber scraper will work well too. Uh, basically, the, the white soap is a little bit softer because it was poured last so it's quite easy just to scrape it off i'm really not hurting the um the colored tiles at all i'm just scraping off the white soap here there we go like i said you really don't want this to happen at all in the first place but if it does happen it's not that hard to just tidy it up get yourself a dry cloth this hasn't got any water on it it's just a dry cloth and you can also buff bits off i'm also just going to scrape the little bits out of the edges there just give it a bit of a buff and uh, it's just such a thin amount of soap it's coming off quite easily there we go all right i'm going to spray it with alcohol look at that beautiful gold leaf and the glitter and even the pearlescent um, tiles are just absolutely gorgeous and that is a beautiful glass tile effect soap bar uh, i'm just gonna fix up a little bit of the soap that's leaked through here it looks quite good actually it looks like it does have some sort of fine little grout lines there there we go, just giving it a spray with the alcohol because that'll show you what it looks like when it's wet. So when you're in the shower and the soap bar is wet, that gold is really going to shine through. Yeah, there's a little bit missing there. That's okay. You've got to pat down that gold leaf if you want it to stick. And uh, this beautiful blue one as well. I really like the transparent blue. Uh, looks looks really does look like glass. It really does look amazing. Okay, there they are. There are my beauties. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you do, please like and subscribe. And uh, stick around next month. We'll be doing another mosaic soap challenge. Okay, thanks guys. Enjoy. Bye.